Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 297. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my College website link and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 296 to 301. Hey, Trick 297, we have a great trick. We have column 1, 2, 3. Oh, column April, May, June. And we want to be able to add, we want to be able to change this uh, month here and simply have our formula adjust and add the right column. Now I'm going to show you four different methods for doing this, each one successively a little bit better. And what I mean by better is if you had a huge spreadsheet, each one of these will successively cal uh, calculate faster and faster. Let's start with the sum and offset. Offset function is a function that specifically is designed to construct a range of cells or a reference. And for us, it's perfect because we have a variable range. Right now, we'd like to add this column. But if we change this, of course, we want to be able to add this column. So we'll start with sum. And the keyboard shortcut for auto sum is Alt equals. And then we'll do offset. Offset is a function with five arguments. The first thing it needs to know is where do you want to start? Well, we're always going to start here. And since we have a pattern here, there's an April, May, June, first column, second column, third column, we will be able to use the offset. We'll always start here. And if we need to go to May, we'll, we'll tell the offset to add a column. Now, that's where we start. Then we type a comma. And you can see the screen tip asks for rows. That means from this starting position, do you want to go down or up any rows? And we don't. We want to always start here. So we're going to put 0, which means I don't want to move. Comma. Now, the columns that we want to move. We need, either need to add one or add two columns. And the way we can do that is since we have a pattern here of months and we have a month here, we can use the match function, M-A-T-C-H. And the match function will uh, take a lookup value, comma, and within a certain lookup array, that right there, It'll look through there and tell us what ordinal position. So April re will return a 1. May will return a 2 because it's the second one in the list, comma. And we need to do exact match since we're looking up a word. Now I'm going to close parentheses on the match. Now we have columns. But wait a second. If we have April right now, in, it'll return 1. And in fact, I could even highlight this and hit the F9 key to show you, evaluate. She, it gives us a 1. But we don't want to move 1. We actually want, when it's April, have a, this show up as 0. So I'm going to Control Z to undo that. And I'm just going to subtract 1. And that will work. All right, so we have our offset. That's it. That'll define the range. Close parentheses there. In fact, if you uh, highlight all of this and hit the F9 key, you'll see that it gives us the exact values right there. Control Z. And uh, just uh, Control Enter or Enter. So it's got seven. By the way, there's randomizing uh, values here. So there, it's changing. Now let's see if this works. I'm going to uh, change the drop down to May. And sure enough, it, now it has May. Another way to do this is using the indirect function and naming each one of these columns. So let's go ahead and name them. I'm going to highlight. And the names I want to name each column are right at the top. And the keyboard shortcut to name from selection is Control-Shift-F3. Control-Shift-F3. It's saying, hey, where are the names? The top. And now you can see if I highlight this up in the name box, it shows April. Or if I select uh, May, no, uh, June, it'll jump to June, the selection. All right, now it's very simple since this is named April. We can use the indirect function, Alt equals for auto sum, and then type indirect. And the indirect, all it wants is a text string that represents a reference. And us, we already know that this is named May. So if we just put, uh, had the sum function look here, it, it would be a word or text, and so it couldn't evaluate it. But the indirect will take that text and convert it to the range. All right, uh, close parentheses, and then uh, right. Control Enter. Let's see if it works if I change to April. Sure enough, it does. Another way to do it is with sum and array. I'm going to Alt equals. And we're going to do an array formula. You can simply highlight this entire range right here. And then times, and we're going to give it a true false. In parentheses, I'm going to say this range right here is equal to this. 
close parentheses. Now, this is an array formula because we're doing multiplying ranges. So you have to hold Control and Shift and then tap Enter. Right. Let's see if it works. Uh, let's run a formula evaluator on this, a formulas, formula auditing, evaluate formula. In earlier versions, this is on the Tools menu. And let's evaluate it and see what happens. Click Evaluate. You can see it's got uh, commas mean columns and semicolons means rows. So it's got the first one, two, two, zero, and then the next row here, just like that. But now it's going to multiply it by the series of uh, trues and falses. I'll click Evaluate again. So it's got false, false, true. So the only, well, now it's going to multiply these. And when you multiply numbers by trues and false, it gives you the values. So now it's going to do that. And it gives us the uh, two, the two, and the one. Um, notice, but it's it's evaluated it in rows, but still, when it adds it, it'll come out just fine. And there it has the 2, 2, and the 1. Click Evaluate. The last way to do this is uh, the fastest when you get to large spreadsheets. We're going to use the index function. And you can actually use the, a 0 in the row a number argument of index, and it will give you only a column. So the index function, and I actually learned this from Aladdin at the Mr. Excel message board, but also this is in help. If you go read uh, help for index, it tells you that you can use the index to select just a certain column. So here we go. I'm going to Alt equals, which is our uh, keyboard shortcut for auto sum, and then I'm going to type indirect, I'm sorry, index. And the array we want is this whole thing right here, just like we did with the um, array, this one here, the whole array, comma, and now the row number. We put a 0 here, and that's the trick to selecting just a column. By the way, it works. We're, we're doing row number and column number. Uh, you can easily put a 0 for column and select just a certain row. Now, the index is going to look through this whole thing here. And it, you were supposed to give it a row number and a column number. And it gives us the intersection, right? But by putting the 0 here, it says, forget it. I don't want an intersection. I end up, I want a whole column. So now, wh which column do we want, 1, 2, or 3? Well, now we can use our match function, our match. And the match function, we're going to have to, uh, there's our lookup value. So we click there. Comma, where is the lookup array? Right here. And that's how we get our either a 1, a 2, or 3 for the column number. Comma, and we need uh, exact match because we're looking up a word right here. Close parentheses on the match. Now we have a close, um, you can see now we have our column number, right? So we can simply come to the end and close parentheses. So the whole trick here is that 0. It is index is designed to be able to select just a whole column. Control Hi. Enter. Now let's see if we can get this to work. I'm going to select uh, April, select uh, May, and sure enough, they're all working. Now for smaller spreadsheets, uh, lots of people like to use the offset. Some people like to use the indirect. Uh, probably fewer people like to do this one. I often do this one a lot because it's quick uh, to, to type out. Ah, but this one, for big spreadsheets, forget it. This one is the fastest. All right, we'll see you next trick. And in fact, in the next trick, we're going to uh, use the ideas from this trick and do a much more complicated formula. All right, see you then.